All right, so today's tutorial, I'm gonna be actually using my mic, which I haven't done in a very long time. So if you guys want me to use my mic more, just let me know, or I could stick to the text, the normal text that I usually do. But yeah, just let me know. Honestly, the only reason I'm doing this is because I got a new mic and I think it sounds way better than my last one. So anyway, today's tutorial is gonna be about my render settings, which is something that I've always been asked about, but it's something I'm always switching. So I never really fully, fully answer it into detail. So I told myself it's kind of better just to show you guys what I have and what my settings are because I think I found the best settings for me and that worked for me in my edits. And the reason I say that is because sometimes if you use like other people render settings, they just don't work the same. I don't know why it's so weird, but that's just what I found. So here's mine. I have a preset named soccer, preset settings have it pop up here in my settings. Obviously it's gonna look a little bit different when you have an actual video here. So my format is H.264, which is the norm, you know, if you're not using H.264, uh, then I don't know what you're doing. Other than that, the only things I really change are my frame rate. So the standard frame rate and resolution I edit on After Effects is 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames. I never go above 30, but I render it at 60. I don't know why I do that, I just do. I don't know if it's a bad thing, but I mean, it looks fine to me and I like how it pops up, but yeah. So usually the width, the height, the resolution, usually 1920 by 1080. I change the frame rate to 60, go down, and right here, my bit rate settings. Now, I know a lot of people use a VBR, I think one pass or two pass. I've used the one pass before and the reason I don't like it is because it's basically rendering your video twice. So right now it's like, so I have it at six and my target bit rate at six and my maximum at 15. So it's gonna render it at six. Like that's like, oh, like my software is saying like, oh, that's what I need to get to. So I'm gonna get to that. And if I can get to that, I'm gonna shoot for 15. So it's kind of like doing it twice, which kind of takes more time, which I don't like. So I started using CBR and my usual sweating, it used to be 10 and then I bumped it to 12 and now I've just stuck to 15. Now, I don't know if it's a huge difference from 10 or 12. It probably is a huge difference from 10, but from 12, I don't know. I just decided to do it and it just, I just stuck with it. So yeah, I use 15 and that's literally that's it the only other thing i do is click this is probably gonna be off for you guys you just click that and that's literally that's literally it i mean like i don't mess with the audio any of that i don't mess with anything else that's all i do but yeah hopefully that answers all the questions about my render settings because a lot of people ask but yeah if you have any comments or questions or even suggestions of what i could do to even make my videos better quality let me know i know some people do render at maximum depth but I did that once. My video kind of came out weird, so I didn't really like it. I never really tried it again, but I do use maximum render quality. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want me to keep using the mic, just let me know. If not, I'll just stick to text or maybe I'll just do both. You never know.